Hey, what's up, guys? Kata back with another video. And today we're going to talk about this failed ad that H&M, you know, produced and, you know, got people, especially the SJWs, you know, you know, going ham on Twitter, you know, talking about this uh, ad they put out. And the ad they're talking about is, you know, black, uh, a little black kid, you know, is a, you know, a boy. That happen to look like he's about six or seven, eight years old, you know, modeling in a hoodie that says coolest monkey in the jungle. You know, I'm talking about a black kid now I'm talking about he's the coolest monkey in the jungle. This is what uh, it, it could. This could be planned, man, because a lot of people be doing a lot of things for attention, man, especially in this day and age. This is the time where you know, attention, you know, brings in money. Got to do all this uh, crazy things just to get, you know, uh, popularity. But, you know, that's how things are right now. So this could be one of those things where they just have a very, you know, ignorant advertisement or marketing, you know, firm. And they need to get fired, man. <laughs> they really need to get fired, man. Let those people go. Because... Really, actually, wait a minute. Didn't H and M uh file for bankruptcy? Isn't that why they're doing it? You know, just looking for a come up, cause, cause I mean, I'm been hearing that you know H and M, you know, is uh getting these uh you know filing for bankruptcy. Same thing for you know Toys R Us, and also heard you know uh what what else. American Apparel is uh, filing for bankruptcy. You know, there's a lot of companies, you know, that's filing it. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. I just heard, you know, heard about it. You know, it could be rumors. I could be wrong. But if I am, you know, if I'm right or wrong, you know, let me know in uh, the comment section. So let's, uh, let's get to this uh, article. International retail giant H&M has apologized for an ad featuring a black child model wearing a hoodie emblazoned with the phrase coolest monkey in the jungle. And Richie B. Tongo said H&M has said it's sorry for an ad, I mean an online ad, with a young black model wearing a hoodie which said coolest monkey in the jungle on it. Yeah, man, these companies are messing up. Social media blew up over the photo of a young boy wearing a green hooded sweatshirt, which had racist undertones. The online advertisement for the top was for sale in the UK. We sincerely apologize for offending people with this image of a printed hooded top, H&M said in a statement. The image has been removed from all online channels and a product will not be for sale in the United States. We believe in diversity and inclusion in all that we do and we'll be reviewing all our inter uh, internal policies accordingly to avoid any future issues. And yeah, Dove, they definitely fell in that uh, category. And what else? Hmm, didn't know about catalogs, but they probably uh, we'll definitely uh, we'll get into that, you know, later on in this article if they put it in there. Everyone from celebrities to social justice experts to comedians chimed in. Tweets ranged from gifts of head shaking to adding the letters. S, A, and E to the retailer's name to spell shame. <laughs> oh, man. That was I got to give it to that, man. That was pretty creative. <laughs> Hashtag slow clap. <laughs> oh, man. Charles and Blow, he got something to uh, say about this. You know, ad. Have you lost your damn mind? 
every company should invest in training. Yeah, they do need to put some uh training in some of this uh crazy cultural uh insensitivity thing going on. It's pro it's like a, it's a, it's almost like a it's a trend, you know. Cultural appropriation I mean not appropriation, uh cultural uh insensitivity is like a uh a thing right now in these companies. It was a horrible and insensitive combination of memes, said Bruce Turkle, executive creative director of Miami based firm Turkle Brands. People will forget trouble will happen if they don't fix their approval process and something like this happens again because each time it does, this issue will be brought up again. Yeah, if they keep uh, messing up like this, they will. I mean, will fall over. This isn't the first time the Sweden-based retail chains have been criticized for racial and ethnic insensitivity. I mean, I'm not really surprised, you know, what these uh these companies that, you know, founded by white people or, you know, was founded by black people, but, you know, run by white people. You know that does this, you know, because I mean they always they always do this, man. Uh, in 2015, the Druze fire after its South Africa division featured no black models. When questioned about the lack of diversity, H and M's tweeted response suggested that white models convey conveyed uh more positivity. I'm t- I'm t- I'm t- uh. I'm like giggling because they said uh, suggested, suggested. <laughs> they suggested that, you know, white people is better to uh, show on their ass than black people. That's what they're uh, implying. <laughs> but people buy their stuff at the stores, man. Crazy. But in 2013, H&M pulled feathered headdresses from its stores after Canadian customers complained it made fun of First Nation tribal customs. Huh. And now they make fun of uh, they said Nation tribe customs. They make fun of everybody now. Uh, sorry for Pepsi. And Princess Michael of Kent apologize for what everybody says. I don't hmm. know about that, but they probably talk about this. In, hopefully, they talk about it in an article so I can know what it is. Nor is H and M the only company to blunder. In October, Kellogg's pledged to replace its racially insensitive drawing on its corn bo- uh, corn pops box after an uproar on Twitter. The sole brown corn pop in the artwork was depicted as a janitor. Yeesh. A goddamn janitor. That month, Dove, uh, you know, you know, ever, on the lever, I don't know how to say it, a uh, brand, apologized for a Facebook ad it ran for Dove Body Wash, which showed a black woman taking off a brown t shirt. Revealing a wild, revealing a wild, wait, wild woman. You mean white woman? <laughs> I better say, I know I ain't, uh, I ain't going crazy. <laughs> yeah, revealing a white woman. It prompted calls to boycott the company. Yeah, man, that's, uh, that's a little over the top, man. You showing a black woman, you know, taking off her shirt. I think it was like a brown shirt. I think it, didn't it say brown shirt? Yeah, brown shirt. And it's showing a white woman, you know, an all white, just. <laughs> yeah, man. If you don't want to be uh, dirty as a black woman, you know, use Dove and you can become white. <laughs> <laughs> Clean yourself up, black women. <laughs> Oh man, see you looking dirty over there. (laughs) 
Oh man, that's your skin. I thought it was dirt. All right, let me let me let me chill. <laughs> let me chill, man. Oh man, hopefully they don't uh, get any backlash. I'm just I'm just joking, guys. No, I probably will. Whatever. And one week in April, saw Pepsi pulling a Kendall Jenner Pepsi commercial. That's some people viewed as belittling the Black Lives Movement. While skincare company Nivea pulled an ad for Invisible for black and white deodorant, which included the tagline, white is purity. White is purity, y'all. Anything white is right, but if you black, it's a different story. Like it always has been. Founded in Sweden in 1947, the company now known H&M has more than 4,100 stores worldwide. The initials stand for Hennis and Wards. And that's it. But yeah, man, these companies been messing up for the uh for a while now. And there's and there's other companies that you know, not really surprised because they always been doing that. But you no, know, people people still buy the products, man. They still do. So, as long as you know we take our money, uh, some uh take our money, you know, to other places, these companies will still you know do racially insensitive stuff that they've been doing for a while now. So. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this story. And I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.